Yes, yes, yo, welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. And of course, the greatness is not over. We have a guest in the studio, and she goes by the name Choma Onuchuku. And she is the head of TuneCore West and East Africa. Before her appointment at TuneCore, she was a marketing manager at um, Udux, UDUX. Um, sorry, U yeah, yeah. Udo X, yeah. Streaming platform in Nigeria where she worked with Kiss Daniel, Yemi Alade, David Doe, and more. Now, some of you may be asking, what's TuneCore? TuneCore is the global platform for independent musicians to build audience and careers with technology and services across distribution, publishing, administration, and a range of promotional services. TuneCore music distribution services help artists, labels, and managers sell their music through Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, Amazon Music, YouTube Music, these are TikTok and more and is a more than 150 no has more than 150 download and streaming stores worldwide while retaining 100 percent of their sale revenue hmm, we'll ask about that mm -hmm. and rights for low annual flat fee TuneCore music publishing administration assists songwriters by administering their compositions through licensing registration worldwide royalty collections and placement opportunities in film tv commercials video games and more Let's make welcome the beautiful, uh, very beautiful actually, Chioma. Oh no. <laughs> Did I get your last oh, name? I'm jealous and I want to say that. <laughs> Why? I want to say, first of all, I'm jealous. Why are you jealous? Because you said very beautiful. See, very don't, beautiful. Don't put me Why did you just yeah. very beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah. it's Onuchuku. Yes. Onuchuku. I mean, he was, yeah. he was But really I was close, close. yeah. yeah. At least A4 effort. <laughs> A4 effort, yes. I mean A4 effort. Wow, yes, thank you yes. for that super amazing mm. introduction. All right, but I think we should hear from the horse's mouth. Tell us about TuneCore, and you've been with them for close to six months now. Yes, How has that been on, for you? Going on six months. I mean, it's been it's been amazing. It's been totally different. Um, I've, I've been used to working behind the scenes, but now, you know, I'm mm. in the forefront, running things, you know. The making, foot soldier. <laughs> yeah, actually, you know, you know, making the decisions and stuff. So it's been really, really interesting, really amazing. It's been, mm. again, I'm going to reiterate, you know, different. There's a really supportive team, you mm. know, at TuneCore, not just for, like, you know, their employees, but also to the artists as well. That's something that we like to put forward, you know, mm. amazing supports, you know, customer service and stuff. So it's been really, really, really good. And I think wow. you, you hit it with, you know, describing what it is that we do. Mm. I don't think there's any need to, like, <laughs> you know, go back there. But basically, just say it again, you know, we're a music distribution company. Company. We also offer offer publishing administration and licensing. Yeah. Alrighty. How does the how does it feel being a woman in this position? Um. See, so yeah, at the end of the day, for me, I think I've always had that dream that I would get to this point. Oh. Mm. You know, so it's almost like where you're being trying to affirm or whatever you want to call it, manifest or visualize yourself there. And now I'm here. It's almost like okay, finally. You know, mm. so it's 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 amazing. You know, mm. in the sense, because like I said, it's like first time really being out there. So mm. for me, it's amazing. And of course, uh, with the conversation around, you know, having more women in leadership, mm. that conversation is also trickling down to yeah. you know Africa, Nigeria as well. And I will also applaud TuneCore in that because in terms of like their management, senior meet or whatever, there's a very good like mm. representation for okay. it, you know female leadership there. So which is also really good. Oh. I mean, I have a South African counterpart and. She's wow. a woman, you wow. know, a woman as well. So, yeah, so right. that's that's been really, really good. All right, so um, you know, digital marketing, you know, streaming platforms. I wouldn't say it's new to Nigeria, but I think um, a lot of us or a lot of people actually felt the need for it during the pandemic because yeah. there were there were no concerts anymore. Mm -hmm. They couldn't go out to have private shows, and then you realize that the only way I can make my money is you know using streaming platforms and all that. Is that, are you telling us that this is the future right now, especially for independent artists, those that don't have record labels? And what is the plan for partnering with record labels yeah. as well? I mean, um, this definitely I'll say is, is the future, of course, with internet penetration really, mm. you know, taking off in Africa as well, mm. not just the rest of the world. And of course, technical, technological advances mm. with people getting more mm. on smartphones. Like even now, musicians, a lot of them don't even go into the studio to record music. You mm. can literally do it on your on phone. Your phone. Yeah. yeah, and then you can also just, you know, send that music around to people to meet and maybe check it out for you mm. or even have it distributed. So that's <laughs> kind of the direction that we're mm. going into oh. right now. And I mean, 20 years ago, 
um, we can say that we didn't have these streaming platforms yeah. in, the, in the picture. So there's already that change happening. And then back then, of course, as an independent artist, it was very difficult for you to even get your music on those streaming mm. platforms. You know, that was where you could see the record labels, you know, really shine and things like that. And now with, with um, you know, the independent distribution companies like TuneCore, it makes it easy for artists to get their music on anywhere they want, whether mm. it's Spotify, Deezer, Uduex, wherever it is, mm. you can you know, easily get your music out there. And Uduex, actually. Yes. I Udox. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go Yeah, you know, Uduex and stuff. But, you know, the, the beauty of it now is back then you didn't have a lot of options of whether you need to go, you know, mm. have, get with the record label. And especially if, if we've, we, mm. what we've known mm. from past events in history, people get into the record labels and they don't actually have a 100% understanding of what sure. they're getting into. Sure. Yeah. When you're independent and you find an independent company that you're comfortable with, that gives you everything that you need, and you're approached by the record label, not to say there's anything wrong with that, you now have an option of whether you Why? want to go there or you want to stay independent, keeping 100% of everything, you understand? Mm. So it's now that change of you having the option now to mm. either go this way or, you know, stay independent and stick with a distribution company like Tunko, for instance. All right. Wow. Yeah. Um, um, you mentioned that, um, reading out everything about Tunko, mm -hmm. you mentioned that 100% of um, the revenue that is uh, made by these artists is not touched by yeah, Tunko. So How possible is that? Yeah, because no, you so guys must, you must <laughs> chop now. <laughs> <laughs> no, so for us, what we do is we charge you for either we are distributing a single mm. or an album. Mm. So you're charged per single on, uh, per year. So that's, that's our own take home. But then when you make the revenues or when we collect the revenues or the royalties from all of the DSPs that you've picked, whether you picked all of them or you have a select, you know, because you have the option of, oh, I want my music on Spotify, I don't want it on Apple. I want it here, I don't want it there. Once we get that, all of that goes to you. So how flexible is the plan? Because um, you could say, okay, we'll do that for you for two years. We'll do that for you for three years. Is that how it works? Um, so we, for us, it's an annual thing. Okay. So it's like a subscription. So I could choose not to renew oh, okay. after. You have that option, okay. yes. Oh. That also, option is um, available. Um, some of you, you guys mentioned that uh, some of your services that you, the songs that this artist had um, done, mm -hmm. you you make it very like visible for like movie distributions and all that. Yeah, so that's... So how uh, do you know the kind of songs? That yeah, so we have a team, yes, okay. that's dedicated to mm -hmm. handling that. So basically they can, you know, if they get, because part of when you upload your music to TuneCore, we also kind of go through it. And if we see something that, mm. you know, it could make sense and say a commercial or movie or whatever the case may be, then we can, you know, let you know, like, hey, you can make some extra yeah. money, you know, by licensing this off to so, 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 and so, right. you know, part, maybe with a show on Netflix or whatever the case may be. And that's additional revenue for you as an artist. All right. So I remember this Mr. Easy story sometime when he, I, can, I, I don't want to mention the streaming platform now, where he said, um, you know, he got over 100 million streams and um, he got like $5,000 or thereby. And people were like, how? Do you understand? He was also lamenting. So I want to get it because a lot of us didn't get it, especially when you're not in the business. What's the algorithm to actually, you know, calculate how much people are making from their streams yeah so there's uh, a breakdown I i'm not too sure what happened with that it could be a case of maybe a revenue split mm. Mm. i can't really speak on what that incident is but typically there's like three ways that you're you get so there's the mechanicals and mm. recording and another one like right now i can't remember mm -hmm. so there's like a breakdown of the various ways you can make money now i'm not too sure what happened with mm -hmm. yeah Mr. the mr easy situation i don't know what platform that mm. was but yeah so there's like a breakdown from the streaming from the streaming as a DSP, the digital streaming right. platforms, where you're able to how your revenue streams are counted. So there's one called Mechanical, I think another called Me um, Recording, and there's one more as well. All right. Do you yeah. think this puts you guys at in a position where you're beginning to look like a competition with all the, with record labels? You know, like we're in competition. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm uh, that's a loaded one. I'm, mm -hmm. I can't. I think at the end of the day, it's just what works for you as an artist. Mm. So we've seen a need and we've come in to, you know, provide value, mm. you know, and help you through that. So it's now up to you to decide, again, back to the statement I made about, you do you options. want to be independent, you know? Mm. So, and then we celebrate that. We have a campaign now 
um, is going to go international sometime this March, maybe early April, called Independent EF. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a big deal. We have merch on it. We have a hashtag on it with, like, over 100,000, you know, people using that hashtag. So... For us, it's just celebrating that, hey, you can still make it in this industry being independent. Oh. All right. So okay, you guys are the, uh, don't say, me don't jazz it, just sign me, I don't blow. You know, you can just... <laughs> so there's nothing wrong with that. That's, if that's what you want to do. You see what I'm saying yeah, now? That's, you, that's, see, you see like, now, we're trying like, to defend like, it. It's more like a competition now. It's looking now like... Now we're trying to defend like it. it. That's why hey. it's beginning to look like <laughs> I, a competition. I, I just, I'm not going to say anything about competition. I'm just okay. saying we're giving you the option to still make it being mm. independent. Mm. You know, there's the record label, so... What works for you? Go for that. I think it's a great opportunity for independent artists because, you know, some people are like, I'm not signed to this place, so it's, like, very hard for me to, like, really make it. And yeah, have, and it's, okay, um, so something to also include because, you know, Tunko was acquired by a company called Believe. Mm -hmm. Now, Believe is, you know, a, an international mm -hmm. record label, so to say. So you also have the opportunity to be upstreamed, you know, up so to believe which then offers you label services mm. so there's also that option so we're not you know we're not against yeah, you know that so it's just giving you the option yeah yeah all right okay. let's talk about okay um, i'm aware sure. that um tunecore is in over 60 countries um over what do you mean over 60 countries like places they've, they're um yeah so right now we have um like, I have counterparts in Paris, of course, mm. US, mm. US, Canada, UK, Paris. Um, I guess Australia as well. Yes, Australia mm. as well, okay. Germany, Russia, India. Mm. Then, um, of course, we have South Africa and, of course, West Africa. Right. So, yeah. So, how, how were, let's just focus in Nigeria first of how how is the progress in Nigeria? Um, it's good. There's still a lot of work, oh. you know, to be done. And, you know, things take time. So the main thing Good is able. Good actually. I wanted to say that, but I just didn't want to come you up. You don't want cocky. to be proud, you know. Yeah, yeah. you know. So, you. but yeah, these they take time, but there's a lot of like things you know we're putting mm. together not mm. to put anything out there. But oh. I'll just say watch this space. Okay. All right. So while we're watching the space, tell us some of the new features. What should we be expecting in 2021? You know, from Tune Call. You know, auto enabling tools that could help independent artists tell us about that real quick okay well um i think i'll start with the two things that we've ruled out um this is something i've also seen in the nigerian markets and then of course all the other markets as well is just this um misinformation and a lack of education mm. so we were very big on that like our mm. blog is very robust you know and we were probably one of like the DS, the distribution platforms that gives you a dash analytics dashboard for mm. you to really see what is going on if you're oh. a numbers person mm. there's that transparency is there so one thing with two things we've rolled out is the tune rewards program so basically it's um, a report program that kind of goes hand in hand with our new master classes that we're going mm. to be putting out oh. you know so what it is is basically encouraging our artists to participate in these master classes right. and as you complete you also can get certifications oh. right. tune certifications for that and then you're earning points which is a tune core rewards that you can then redeem into distribution credits wow. as well so it's just encouraging and all of this is free you know so it's encouraging artists to you know yeah, and get, educate yourself to help you become right. better That's in true. your career and get you where you want to be. Now, for the ability, what is that like, you know, for somebody who wants to be a Tunko client? And because mm. I saw um, register, sign up, I know those things don't come <laughs> easy, especially like you said, um, good things don't come easy, easy right? Mm -hmm. So I'm, I want to believe that there's a certain amount of money that I have to pay for registration and all that. Is it totally free? Uh, that's for to get your music yeah, on the but no, so <laughs> we charge um nine ninety nine for mm. a single prayer mm. and then twenty nine ninety nine for album. an album. Then subsequent years the album price kind of goes up. Oh okay. yeah. So but that's that's all. when I'm making sales, right? Sorry? That's when I'm making sales, my price goes up. <laughs> Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so we want to know how well you know your music since it's your oh space. All right, God. so we'll, we'll be me, playing I'm, I'm, song. I like music, but I'm, I've realized I guess it's the old age. I'm kind of old lately. age, old age. Yeah, I want to be old. You want to be old? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's see how well you know it, and we'll be playing song association with you. So you just have to sing a song that has this. It's this word in it. Brace yourself. I know I'm going to feel this. <laughs> Woman. <laughs> Woman. That's um, Rema. Okay, sing it. Oh. 
like <laughs> I too like woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. right, call. Sorry. Call. Call. Call like C A double L. Oh yeah. Call. Call. I don't know why you don't call me back. Is what's coming to my yeah. That's but okay. okay. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, love. Ah, that one hard now. That one easy now. Ah, love the most every song. There's a love. lot of songs with yes, that. Nah. Is there any song without love? Uh, of course. Until you love somebody. Who has wrote to me? That's what came to my mind. Yeah, that's okay, what came to me. Okay, what to me? He's half Nigerian, <laughs> so we'll give him. He's supposed to be, yeah. He's, he's Nigerian, Nigerian, actually. He's Nigerian, Scotch. What all do you right, mean? All right, feel good. Uh, feel good. Try it. Let me okay, give you a clue. We just saw it. Uh, yeah. You just, oh. That's, is it copy? Well, I'm sure you can see yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, Choma. Yes. Choma. <laughs> Choma. So oh, good. wait. Choma the song. <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. It's, it's not That's a sure, word. I'm sure giving you a word. Sure. Yeah. I'm sure that's David Dunn. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you're not being fair with her, seriously. Johnny. <laughs> what is it now? Johnny. Jo I don't, Johnny. 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 Johnny whatever. song or Johnny person? Uh, no, you see, it's a word. You tell me what song it is. This is my name. I'm Jamie um, um, Alade's Johnny. I'm looking for my Johnny. Johnny, yes. All right, all right. So he's an amazing so playing. <laughs> yes. Don't worry, don't worry. You did very well. You didn't feel any action. Actually, Apart from feel good. All right, so finally, tell us, um, you know, for people interested in Tune Call, where can they find you guys? Where can they find you personally? And, you know, um, if they have questions. So I'm um, on LinkedIn. I'm on Instagram. My handle is Truly Oma. I probably change that. But, yeah, Truly Oma. My LinkedIn, Chamona Chuku. Mm. Um, of course, if you're interested in, you know, sign up to Tune Call, I think you should, you know, definitely go to TuneCore.com. Just go on Google, www.tunecore.com, and get it started all righty yeah. thank you so much for being with us on <laughs> the show you. and sipping tea with us mm. actually thank all righty you. <laughs> thank you so much and we'll be thank going you. on the music break tea time continues right after this break